So if you've spent any time in Manhattan at all, you've probably seen this pharmacy called Dwayne Reed literally all over New York City. You might be thinking, okay, what is this Dwayne Reed? Because this doesn't exist anywhere else basically in the world, right? And that is true because Dwayne Reed is a pharmacy that was founded here in New York City. There are a few locations outside of New York City. If you go to like Jersey, like the part, the parts that are near New York City, I know they're around other boroughs outside of Manhattan as well. And also they could be some other places, but I haven't checked all of the locations. Pharmacies come and go all the time. So it's a little bit hard to keep up with all the current locations right now. So where did the name Dwayne Reed come from? Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory how I kind of figured out some of the history of Dwayne Reed. So I used to live in Tribeca. One day I was walking through the streets of Tribeca and I was walking by Dwayne and then Reed Street. And I've been in Tribeca many times before, obviously before I lived there. But when I lived in Tribeca, you just pay attention more to street names when you live in that neighborhood. That's just like point blank. That's just how it is, no matter what. And I think anybody can really agree with that. So I was walking through Tribeca and I passed Dwayne and Reed Street. And I thought to myself, I was with my husband at the time, and I was like, huh, Dwayne and Reed, Dwayne Reed, the pharmacy. But I'd never put two and two together, even though I've been on both of those streets many times before. It was the first time where like something clicked with me. I was like, okay, Dwayne Reed. So that kind of got me curious to look up the history of this company and how it was founded in New York City. It's not a coincidence that the name is Dwayne Reed, and both of those streets happen to be next to each other in Tribeca, because the first location opened between Dwayne and Reed Street in Tribeca in 1960. So this kind of started off as a small local pharmacy business. But over the next 50 plus years, it exploded to what it is today. And that's why you see so many locations throughout the city. In 1960, the company was founded by the Cohen brothers. Later on, the company was actually later on bought out by Bain Capital in 1992 for, for $239 million. And if you know what Wayne Reed is today, $239 million is actually kind of like a steal for what a conglomerate it is in New York City. And that was just in 1992. So Bain Capital sold the company again in 1997 to a, another investment company. Then an IPO was created in 1998 until it was sold again in 2003, but this time making it a private company. So until it was sold again in 2004 to Oak Hill Capital, which then made it a private company instead of a public company. So if you're following the timeline here, it went from small company, bought out, then bought out by another company, which took it public, but then bought out again, which took it private. So it wasn't up until 2010 when Walgreens ended up acquiring Dwayne Reed. And that's why now you tend to see, believe at all locations, if not most of them, it says Dwayne Reed by Walgreens. And I actually clearly remember this happening because I do remember back when I was young, when I was a kid going into New York City, Dwayne Reed did not have that by Walgreens. It was just Dwayne Reed. So what were some of the slowdowns and scandals that this company had to deal with? Well, really September 11th, of course, was definitely one of the hardest times for the company to really survive because of the amount of damage and lost foot traffic to certain locations. But also what really, really hurt them was that they weren't able to build and develop new locations. So that really hurt their numbers for 2000 one, but also a few years to come also. So this company has dealt with their share of union contract disputes, which isn't really uncommon in New York City as a whole, unfortunately. But this company was really dealing with a lot of backlash from union workers for a really long period. So in their Jersey stores specifically, they were caught for selling overpriced and expired drugs in their Jersey stores specifically. So, so that's just a, another scandal that they were dealing with at some point during all these acquisitions. And the last one is that at times they have reported false incomes. Unfortunately, as companies are getting bought out, that tends to happen is that they tend to inflate the PL statements. So these are just some scandals that the company has dealt with over the years. And it's interesting to see how it has evolved into the conglomerate it is today. And it does make sense that it's owned by Walgreens now. But at the same time, I do feel like it really did explode way before it was. It was acquired by Walgreens in 2010. And I definitely remember before 2010, so many Dwayne Reed locations all over the city. Like they were just literally everywhere. And it's interesting to see the history and how I just came from a little street corner in Tribeca. I used to pass by that street corner like every day. So if you guys have anything to share about Dwayne Reed or just want to rant and rave in the comments, whether you love the store or hate the store, because I think everybody has an opinion on it, I would love to hear regardless, because as always, I love hearing from you guys.